the FTS and what are the conditions when you don't need to transfer funds. FTS transfer, it stands for the Funds Transfer Scheme. Uh, this was a scheme that the Immigration Department of New Zealand introduced uh, in association with ANZ Bank in New Zealand. I think the reason for uh, introduction introducing the FTS scheme was that students are supposed to show $15,000 as living expenses when they come to New Zealand. So earlier what they would do was they would show the funds and then come to New Zealand but they would actually not get those $15,000 funds with them after they got the visa. So they would come to New Zealand expecting oh I'm going to find a part-time job and start earning from day one so I don't have to have funds. But a lot of them got into trouble because of that because they did not find jobs and they did not carry money with them and they got into all kinds of trouble, stress, emotional distress. The government realized it and said, no, nah, we're going to force these guys to carry that living expenses with them. So they created this FTS scheme where funds have to be transferred to New Zealand before, you, before your uh, student visa is stamped. Not only do those funds have to be transferred to New Zealand, you can't withdraw those funds from the FTS account. It is kind of, it's called, it, they drip feed it to you. So you get, you can take out a portion of that money only every month so that there's enough money for you to have. Because the other problem that some of the students got into was even if they transferred the money to New Zealand, they would withdraw, you know, 10,000 to buy a car or to go on a fancy holiday or you know, do some, uh, you know, silly stuff. And then suddenly they are without money. So the FTS, I think, is a good scheme. It has introduced uh, to basically protect international students. Great scheme. I like it. Uh, when, when you don't need to transfer funds, I think that is at the sole discretion of the uh, assessing visa officer. A visa officer might look at the profile of the family and everything else and say, yeah, looks like this boy comes from a good responsible background and they have funds. So uh, that's when uh, they will do that. And uh, if somewhere the visa officer is not 100% confident, then they might force you to do a FTS. And that's for your protection. It's, it's, it's not something New Zealand is doing to earn money. No, please do not uh, uh, think that New Zealand is somehow sneakily trying to get money off you. No, it's your money that you will use for your upkeep when you're an international student. So this policy is uh, basically to protect you. And so that's, that's the way the FTS works.